Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rims English. Today we'll practice grammar and the topic is subject and object. Before I go to detailed description of subject and object, I want to show you the basic difference between them. Subject and object have the opposite functions in a sentence. Subject does and object receives. Now let us know in detail about subject. A subject is the doer in the sentence. It can be noun or a pronoun. Someone who does the action or something that does the action in the sentence is called a subject. As I mentioned earlier, subject is the doer because subject does the action or activity in the sentence. Now let me give you some examples of subject. He is painting the wall. Here, painting is the main verb. And who is doing this? He. So he is the subject here. Because he is doing the action in this sentence. The project is absolutely fine. Is. This word is the verb here. Is is the verb of the project. So the project is the subject here because project is doing the task in this sentence. The dress is not see-through. Is is the verb here and it is the action of the dress. So the dress is the subject because we are talking about the dress in this sentence and it is doing the action here. The dog eats and sleeps all day. So who eats and sleeps? The dog. So the dog here is the subject because the dog is doing the actions. Now let me talk about object. An object is the receiver in the sentence. It can be a noun or a pronoun. Someone who receives the action or something that receives the action in the sentence is called an object. It is totally the opposite of subject. Now let me give you some examples of object. I often play badminton. So here, play. This is the verb. Play what? Badminton. So badminton is receiving the action here. So, badminton is the object in this sentence. He doesn't have enough money. Here, have is the main verb and money is receiving the action, that is have. So, money is the object in this sentence because money is receiving the action, that is have. The painter loves painting. Here in this sentence, loves, this is the main verb. So, loves what? Loves painting. So, in this sentence, painting is receiving the action. So, this is the object. Can you give me the pen? Here, we have to focus on two objects. Me, the pen. In this sentence, give is the verb. And the pen is receiving directly the action. So, the pen is the object here. This is called direct object. And me, give me. So who is getting the pen? Me. So this is called indirect object. So in the same sentence, you can find direct object and indirect object. Now let me show you how you can get subject and object both in the same sentence. I will eat an ice cream now. I hope you got the answer already. I is the subject here because I is doing the action. And ice cream, this is the object here because this is receiving the action. And what is the action? Eat. Eat is the action in this sentence. Father sent his friend a letter. Here in this sentence, Father is the subject because father sent it. Father did the action. And our letter is the 
object because a letter received the action that is sent. Sent what? A letter. So a letter is the object. In this way, you can find subject and object in the same sentence. But remember one thing. It's not that all the time you will find subject and object both present in the sentence. Sometimes a sentence can be formed without object also. So everyone, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.